just like that. All right, so our pivot is just almost all the way. Oh, look how easy that was. Well, 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 it is about that time. Welcome back to Old Bub's channel. Uh, got a really exciting video for you today. This is a bug out of a friend of the channel and one of my best personal friends. Um, and he has requested a little semi-custom teardown scale swap uh, for his Benchmade bug out. And I have thrown in a couple of surprises for him. A little backspacer from Rock Scale and a little blue anodized pocket clip. He doesn't know about those yet and he's probably actually going to watch the video before uh, he gets the knife in his hands. So that's super exciting. We also have blue anodized uh, titanium screws coming in. These crossfade scales. And then the other thing that we're going to try out is we're going to try out this little pivot tool from Flytanium. And it's supposed to make the job a whole lot easier. So we're going to see how that goes. The other things you see here, we just have a T10 for the pivot. A T6 for all the other screws. Let's get after it. Grab yourself a warm beverage. I have Tazo Passion Tea on deck. Woo! That is fruity and delicious. All right, the first thing we're going to do on the knife here is pop off the pocket clip. You know, it's kind of interesting I have done a lot of stuff with Benchmade bug outs and when this tool came out I thought I had developed uh, just about the best system ever for working with the bug outs Ooh, this definitely has some Loctite going on so the way that this works is it is a t10 so you can undo it just with the tool so you take the pivot screw out and then this tool is supposed to line up with the d shape in the pivot which is actually kind of hard to see on this one And we get it lined up properly. There we go. See, this now holds it in place, holds that whole axis lock mechanism in place. Now I did have that pivot plug come out of there. But see, that's the D-shape. And now the D-shape on the tool is right there in the same spot. Isn't that neat? Okay, so now, we're just going to come around here and take the screws out, the rest of the scales. Now, there are three sizes of screws, so it's really important to keep them in order. I happen to know um, the three different sizes going on here. The pocket clip screws are the largest. And then these middle ones are the smallest, and then the rest are all the same size. So I have laid them out accordingly because I have taken apart many a bug out and had many a silly moment where I wasn't sure which screws were which. So what we get to do here, set aside all those screws. And then that scale is just going to pop off of there, set it aside. Now because we have the backspacer, we're going to have to take off these standoffs too and just put those back in. That's what the inside of the bug out looks like. You see this tool is just holding it in place. And that is a gorgeously beautiful thing. So the standoffs are D-shaped, which is great news. because that means that these aren't going to free spin on us and we can just take them off now in all of these make sure that you you save all of this stuff 
because disassembling your own knife does technically void your warranty but at the same time <laughs> get that all turned around at the same time like Benchmade's a company that's very aware of the aftermarket for their stuff and they still want us to have fun with our knives so they're not trying to spoil anybody's party so we're going to just take this get this all lined up and the other side of the scale Whoop. drop that in now i'm just gonna drop these screws in here real quick as a placeholder now i'll use the old screws just in case don't want to booger up our anodization if we don't have to since these already have to come back out just going to hold this in place just barely with everything remember in titanium screws and especially t6 you don't want to you don't want to go crazy on those oh that looks so good okay so now we're going to take this scale Drop that on there. Get it to line up here with our backspacer. Okay. So now we know pocket screws are the longest. Then we have four screws of everything else. Need a bit of Loctite. And drop this one in here. Just get it secured. This little guy, the middle one, is the short screw. So you'll have two short screws, two long screws, and then eight of everything else. This just goes into the little end of the steel liner in there. And now that I'm doing my arithmetic, it would appear that they give you an extra Give you an extra per side of the most common one. Well, yeah. Okay. One scale's on. So now we're going to come over here. Just pop out the rest of our screws. Whoop. Try to keep track of them. But as I was saying, you want to save all this stuff because sometimes you never know when you strip out a screw, you might want an extra one. But also, a major thing here is that if you if you can have a warranty claim and just put the old stuff back on real quick to send that in if you have something that's not functioning right uh, on your knife. My personal experience and the experience of other folks that I trust has been that Benchmade overall does very much want to take care of you pop that other scale off all right here we go scale coming in got one of these now with bug outs i highly recommend just dropping in all of your scales or all your screws I mean but do not tighten them down at this stage you want to get the pivot properly adjusted here's our short one before you go in at tightening these down and also another reminder to be gentle with titanium screws. Titanium screws will strip out easier than steel screws. Make sure that you are subscribed to the Old Bubs channel, specifically and turn notifications on because next week I have some cool videos coming out and the one that I'm most excited about is my top five favorite knives in my collection. I know that a lot of people are interested in um, the full collection. I will do a full collection video at some point, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. But next week we have just my top five that I own right now. 
I got some pretty some pretty fun stuff. I don't have the highest of expensive knives, but I think I have some really cool stuff. Okay, so when you get this all assembled back together, the idea is that you want to line up the D shape and the pivot with the D shape and the tool. And then just gently have one take the place of the other. Just like that. All right, so our pivot is just almost all the way. Oh, look how easy that was. Wow, that is a cool little tool. All right, now we're just gonna get our pivot screw drop back in here. Get her just snugged up first. See how our action is. All right, pull tight, dead center. Oop, don't roll away. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just got a tiny bit of play that we'll take out. Wow. That is on the money. Okay, this particular individual likes the pocket clip on the wrong side, so we're going to accommodate that. Right-handed, too. He can out himself in the comments if he feels like. Or I'll keep his identity private. You never know with some people. But I can't wait to show this to him. Woo! Whoops! Blooper reel! As I'm sure you can imagine, the pocket clip is not traditionally supposed to be the hardest part of this. Alright, we got one side started. Get the other side going. Get that sucker going. All lined up. Hmm. These are fresh drilled holes from Flytanium, so just go nice and slow. Back it out a little bit if you need to. And what you don't want is you don't want to strip it. Don't want to cross thread. There she goes. Perfect. All right. Man alive. Oh, he's going to be so stoked. I can't wait to share this with him. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Contact me, oldbubsharpening at gmail.com if you want to work on a semi-custom yourself. Most of all, let love and light fill your life. We'll see you next time.